currently in Darby, Montana, shooting a show called Yellowstone. Yellowstone is a modern day epic drama set in Montana. It features the Dutton family and the various rivals they have throughout their land. It was the first time I had worked with Ben Richardson. His vision for Yellowstone was to sustain a modern approach to a classical aesthetic and to primarily use the Ronin to handle many different things. Most scenes we shot on three cameras simultaneously, and I would almost always put in a Ronin shot. Whether we were emulating a steady cam, or whether we were emulating a more refined handheld approach, whether we were emulating a remote crane system, it really served us well. The camera package that we used for the Ronin 2 consisted of the Alexa Mini, a small MDR4, small primes, two motors, and the small cine tape horns and readout. It was very small and compact, and it allowed us not to have to change over a ton of things when we wanted to go from studio to using the R2 as our tool. You can go from being on a Mitchell mount adapter to flipping it onto the ring and running around with it to throwing it on a car mount in no time at all. At the beginning of the show, we were using the prototype of the Ronin 2 system, which had not been field tested. And while there were growing pains, DJI listened and heard what we had to communicate. And they since have improved both the gimbal rig and the remote wheels. DJI opened their ears and took down all the notes, and it made the Ronin 2 an incredibly versatile system. The master wheels were really the missing piece of the puzzle. It was the thing that, that allowed us to switch from treating the Ronin as something that could be adapted into a professional workflow to something that was truly built for a pro workflow. By collaborating with the operator on the Ronin and a second operator on wheels, we could actually accomplish a kind of movement that was instantly recognizable as cinematic. There's an active aerial element to the show. There's a character in the story that plays a helicopter pilot. And so we've been uh, getting the chance to use everything from big arrays on full-size helicopters down to drones with the Inspire 2 and the X7. The X7 camera is quite remarkable. My colorist commented that he hadn't noticed that we'd switched from doing helicopter work with an Alexa built into a giant camera mount to using the Inspire 2 with the X7. When you've got one of the best eyes in the business looking at your imagery, and he's unaware that we've switched from the Alexa to the X7 camera. That really says something. As filmmakers, we need to be 100% confident in our tools. And I think the most impressive thing is DJI committing to build reliable, robust equipment for the professional user.